Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to another episode of our Three Kingdoms Zhao Yun. As we run around the streets of Xiapi, headed to the main building, to speak with Tao Tian and Liu Bei, as we just saved the city from Cao Cao's forces. In between episodes, I already visited all the vendors, cleaned up the inventory and whatnot. Not much else happened. Very fancy city. Alright, of course, we're looking for chests. But getting dragged back in. Okay, he's asking his assistant, Zhong. I'm guessing this is um, Mi Fang's character, or Mi, Mi Zhu's character. Maybe Sun Jian, but uh, asking him to bring his seal. Yep, Mi Zhu's character. Mi Zhu is a very wealthy merchant. Very, very wealthy. Uh, perhaps merchant is not the best word. He's a landlord. His family business is they take barren land and then lease it out to basically sharecroppers or laborers who will farm and then pay him money. Uh, basically, huge landlord in the street province. Extremely wealthy. What do you mean by, you know, taking the seal? Uh, Tao Tian, according to Romance, wanted to give Liu Bei the governor position. You know, the world is in chaos, and uh, given that Liu Bei is a relative to the imperial clan and someone who is willing to restore order, and now you have saved the Xu province, I'm ready old and uh, a bit useless at my advanced age. He's going to write a letter to the imperial court suggesting to give the governor position over to Liu Bei, and hopefully Liu Bei won't, uh, will, will accept. Can't, can't. Even though I'm a pure relative, I have not done much. Can't really. Well, Jun Ling. Right, he can't barely be an administrator, much less a governor of a whole province. My intention here was just to save the city and its people, and uh, of course, we would not be accepting this, uh, which at a moment of weakness and vulnerability, if I had such a thought, you know, hunt, the heaven can punish me. It's not that, you know, I earnestly want you to take it. No need to be worried about, you know, how the appearances are. I have no intention, you know, at such a moment of weakness. It's not something a gentleman would do. Right, the world will laugh at me or judge me, and it's hard for me to, you know, stand upright if I take this at a moment of weakness. Right, Miju suggests that, given that the enemy is still out there, if Liu Bei doesn't want it right now, perhaps the best option is to discuss how to defeat the enemy first before uh, we talk about this. Now, one thing about this model, the ring and everything is fine. Uh, the fan, this type of, I guess, foldable fan, or ones with like a skeleton on it, was not around yet. So that's that's incorrect. Alright, any plans to defeat the enemy? I, ha I know Cao Cao from the past. If I write a letter to Cao Cao, Asking for a truth. If he agrees, of course, it's great. If not, then we'll go out and fight him. This follows the romance story in Cao Cao's camp now. He's going to get the letter. Oh, this is Cao Cao. Oh, they drew him quite old at this point. He's not that old yet. Asking, I guess this would be Sa Dun. How did you guys get defeated? I was fighting Zhang Fei, but there was another general who came in. Couldn't beat two of them together, asking for punishment for defeat. Another brave general. Is it Guan Yu? It's, like, it's not Guan Yu. I know him. He's the red faced long beard. This one's young, with spear moves that I've not seen before. Where did Liu Bei find another talent like this? 
禀告主公，徐州有使者携刘玄。Your base letter is here. Oh, come on, bring it forth. Like Liu Bei was able to meet you、uh, during the campaign against Dong Zhuo.、Uh, now that we are in different places, serving different things around the world, talking about how Liu Bei, you know, is honoring his father, but Zhang Hai is the one who did it, and、uh, Tao Xian is not the source of this crime, given that yellow turbans are still around with remnants. Uh, in this area, especially in the Qing and Shu provinces, and Dongzhuo's remnants are also still around.、Uh, perhaps it's best we turn our attention to the matters of court first, before we deal with private grudges such as this one, and hope that he retreats his troops from the Shu province and uses them to save the country.、Uh, this will be a fortune for the Shu province, a fortune for the world. A letter from Liu Bei. Oh, Fu Chao, Tian Jing Di. Cao Cao is not impressed. Throws the letter to the ground. You know, a son avenging his father is the natural way. It's not him who lost his father. Who is this Liu Bei to think that he can use his acquaintance with me to、uh, tell me to retreat? He wants to stop me. Then we kill him too. Order the army to attack the city. Okay. 且有田凯恐容侧翼为主，更兼关张之勇，未可轻敌。我建议 suggesting that not to attack Liu Bei, given that there is the likes of Tianhai and Kongrong from、uh, Beihai, as well as the Qing province here to help them. And there is Guan Yu and Zhang Fei, who are brave generals. So perhaps the best way is to reply a letter with letter, use courtesy, and then if his If he let his guard down, then we can perhaps use that to defeat him. Now the problem here is Guojia does not work for Cao Cao yet. 194. Guojia has not joined Cao Cao. Cao Cao's main strategist during this time is Xi、uh, Zhizhai, who after he dies, then Guojia has a chance to join Cao Cao、uh, much later on. We're talking, we're years ahead for Guojia to be here. And、uh, Cao Cao takes.、Ready. Guo Jia's advice and、uh, writes a letter back to Liu Bei. Ah, this is the main reason why Cao Cao will retreat. Liu Bu has broken through in the Yan province. And they have pushed into Poyang, which will be the final showdown between Cao Cao and Liu Bu. So this is a little early. Only three cities here:、uh, Zhencheng, Dongwa, and Fanxian. That. Uh, were held. Wen Ruo 先生 should be Cheng Yu, I think. Zhong De 先生 huh? Historically speaking, I mean Cao Ren is also here defending. Historically speaking, Xia Hudun should actually be defending one of these cities. He actually gets taken prisoner as a hostage during one of these battles, and they eventually got him out. But he's here, so slight changes to the story. Yan Province is our base. If there is a risk, then we will be homeless. Xu Zhou 乃险界小吉，随时可图。吕布虽是一汉勇匹夫，但有陈宫等人为辅。Right, Guo Jia says, you know, Xu Province is a small gang. We can come and get it any time. Lu Bu is just a brute, but with Cheng Gong and others helping him, if he gets a base, then it will be like a tiger growing claws and talons. Uh, it will become much more dangerous. Why don't we take this chance to give a favor to Liu Bei and retreat the army to reclaim the Yan Province? That's pretty much what happens historically, and the war with Cao Cao is now over. Going back to Xia Pi, and we get to check out the enemy situation on the West Gate. But of course, I think we will see if、uh, Mi Zhu's clan left anything valuable here in the main building. They has to have a chest, right? Minor one, but we got a gold item from it. Any of these desks have a smaller chest that we might miss? Not over here either. All right, 
Guess we'll go check out the wall. I think we might be fighting a few of Taltal's troops to end this mission here. We're going over there. It's also going to bring an end to this chapter, I believe. I think we're in chapter 6. Halfway through the game. The game goes through Zhao Yun's life until the Battle of Changban. With alterations, of course. Looks very peaceful for the city to be attacked, for the city wall to be in danger. But I guess we're here. Oh, back to the west side of town. Tofo's camp is, you know, packing up. Are they retreating? Tofo has agreed to retreat and uh, given us a response letter. It's like, thank you for writing. Uh, it's good to remember old times. A son avenging a father's death. It's, you know, commonplace. It's the proper thing to do. I originally intended to destroy the street province and uh, eat Taotian alive. Oh, it cut out before we were able to finish it. But essentially, Taotian has retreated and Taotian tribute that to Liu Bei. And uh, farther more wants to pass the province over. And Liu Bei is very humble here. It's not just me. And we're going to go outside and invite Kongrong and Tenkai into the city, and there will be a feast in everyone's honor. We're just supposed to go back, but first time that we're on the wall here. And that's it, there's no chest here. Surprise. Just there to see Taltal's retreat. By the way, we did buy a new horse when I was cleaning up inventory. This is a level 55 horse. And it's just better than the white one we had, so... We'll be using that. Asking us to take a seat. He has one thing to ask of us. I think he's going to be trying to pass the province over one last time. What's your concern? What you need? To, what do you need to tell me? Just feel free to say it. I'm old. My two sons are talentless. They're not up to the task. And once again, he's just going to try to ask Liu Bei to take over the Xu province. I already passed on this. We can't do this. If you want to retire for old age, just inform the court and let the court pick the next capable governor. And Taotian laments that Dong Zhuo is dead. Li Zhu and Guo Si are the ones in control of the court. If we ask the court, then they will certainly pick someone loyal to them to become the next Xu province governor. Now, the problem with the statement is Taotian is actually a Dong Zhuo assignee. So he got assigned to the Xu province when Dong Zhuo was in power. He paid tribute to both Dong Zhuo's court and Li Zhu and Guo's court. So he was very much playing by the rules of whoever was regent at the time and definitely had no concerns about this. And his tribute to them is the reason why he got assigned as governor eventually and got a lot of rewards, different general titles as well. So uh, this statement's kind of disingenuous. Mei Zhu is a huge supporter of Liu Bei, eventually will marry his sister to him, and uh, funded him when Liu Bei was very down. So here speaking highly of Liu Bei and trying to also ask him to take over for the province, Liu Bei pushes it again, says he cannot do this. Uh, now suggesting that Shou Chun is close by, Yuan Gong Lu or Yuan Shu. Uh, comes from the 
prestigious Yuan clan and could be a good target to pass on the Xu province, suggesting that perhaps just give Yuan Shu this right. Now, right now, Yuan Shu hasn't done anything to declare intention to become emperor. He does come from the prestigious clan, so passing it to him, at least the suggestion makes sense on paper. But uh, Miju will dismiss that. Think that Yuan Shu only has a name in that he's part of the Yuan clan, but he himself has no tactics and, you know, is prideful, does not care about the common folk. He's gonna lose eventually, and it's not a wise choice to take over the Sui province. If Liu Bei abandoned me here, I'm gonna die, you know, without being able to close my eyes, I mean, with regrets, basically. Zhang Fei speaks, you know, it's not that we want it, he keeps asking us to take it, why is Liu Bei, you know, not taking it, being the brute? Guan Yuan and Zhang Fei are suggesting Liu Bei to take the position. You guys are trying to entrap me uh, to be dishonorable. So the backup plan, Tao Tian's worry that Tao Tao will come back. So there's a small fortification nearby named Xiao Pei, which is close to Sa Pi. So he's gonna ask Liu Bei to garrison his troops there to protect the street province. Now, historically, Tao Tian hands over a large amount of troops to Liu Bei here because most of Liu Bei's unit were borrowed and gives Liu Bei the army as well as this fortification in Xiao Pei to, you know, protect the street province. And eventually he dies of old age pretty soon after. A lot of depression from seeing large part of the street province getting massacred. And uh, Liu Bei takes over after that because most of the officials such as Mi Zhu, such as Sun Qian, supports Liu Bei as the new leader. I mean, even Chen Qun worked under Tao Tian during this time and supported Liu Bei. Liu Bei agrees to stay in the Xu province, but uh, hopefully he can find other talents to take over as the next governor, as Liu Bei still does not want to take over. All right, we're done here. We're going to go to Xiao Pei. And I guess I'm going to lead the way or get there ourselves and meet Liu Bei there. Given that we are part of that borrowed group, perhaps we have to leave. Okay, so we're going north. And return. I mean, at this point, I don't know why Zhao Yun would even want to return to Gongsunzan after what happened here, at least in the story for the game. Feels like aside from Gongsun Yue, we shouldn't have any disillusions about Gongsunzan as a person at this point. Report. Xiao Pei is up ahead, but it seems like the town has been taken over by bandits, so we get ourselves a fight. How are the civilians inside? They found some civilians outside the city who's been chased out by the bandits, and they have, you know, settled in the area around the settlement. So we're gonna go rescue them. And we volunteer to go in first to take care of the bandits. And, uh, so our task is go take care of the bandits, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei will go save the civilians around town. Once we clear the town, everyone will meet in the city. So we get to go solo it ourselves. Those are the bandits. Let's go. We cancelled it with a dodge. Let's see. We are here. We're supposed to clear the bandits here. I think Guan Yu and Zhang Fei are supposed to go here. I guess we'll listen to command, but kind of want to do everything. Level 49. 
Now before, wrong button, but before we hit level 50, let's take a look at our armor because it's going to change once we hit 50. They're starting to get level 50 drops. And eventually, as we hit level 50 and above, we should be also getting level 60 drops and level 60 blueprints. Try to switch some weapons. They're a bit more scattered than I would like. chest here all right found a chest all right we're gonna take some time and just explore the area thoroughly I know we came from here, but we didn't really look at everything. Chest here? No. Ah, huh, feels kind of wrong for there not to be a chest here. Maybe here? No. Okay. All right. So this area has all been checked. We checked over here. I think we take this path. Clear everything here and then turn around, clear this, go back, go the way we're supposed to go. And then basically make a full sweep of the map here. And we'll change up the skills from time to time to keep things a little fresh. Yeah, we'll clear this area first. Come <laughs> on. 
cleared it to the bridge. There's no resources to gather at all, which is kind of surprising. Alright, I think this area is also cleaned up. We'll just check that connection there. We didn't need to heal. That was a misclick. I think these are respawns. Pretty sure we killed this area already. Alright. I think we can move on. I mean, we want to go back. We do want to take this path, so... Let's go back to Spear. get into the city. And we hit 50. Got a good different look, I think. Got a cape now. Killed everyone here.
We do look a little bit fancier. I don't think it's that much better. Plus all the enchantment that we have added. It's gonna take a lot convincing for us to switch gears at this point. I think we're inside. We'll grab this save point when we get a chance. That's a storage. Okay. Enough with the mobs. Let's go find who their boss is. Alright, we're getting close. Yeah, these elites are probably still worth killing. There's no boss. Looks like we just have to clear this whole area. Unless there's a boss over there. Bandit leader, no name. Asking who we are, and we explain, you know, you guys are bandits taking over this town. We are here to help the people. Oh, it's just the elite. Okay, so we're basically fighting three elites here. No worries. We just have to go into the main camp. That ends the fight here. We obey his flags ready up. Don't see any chests. A tiny, tiny chest. <laughs> Smells of medicine. Ah, Fan Juan. And Poli Hua Tuo. Ah, Jun. Hua Jianbei. 
and they're here healing a kid here. Why are we here? We came here to fight bandits? Why would you be in the bandit camp? It's a long story. After we left town, I've been traveling the world with Batuo. We've been trying to heal a lot of different diseases. And, uh, this little kid's older brother, older sister, came asking them for help, and uh, they came here to help heal the kid. Since the person asked, it's a older brother, since he was sincere, they came here. Alright, so this was the bandit we just killed. It's true that his younger brother was sick. But uh, this person's been using food and resources he's stolen from other people to heal his little brother. Although they intend to leave, but... Even though the bandits are cruel, the child is innocent. You know, his sickness is dire. If they leave now, he's gonna die. So... They're going to stay till the child is healed. As long as the bandits don't disturb them, they stayed. Well, the bandit's been killed, and Liu Bei is going to be here, coming with uh, calling back all the civilians. They can stay here and rest a couple days longer. There's a group of bandits who were still around and escaped towards the south. Have you go went to go scout? There's a military camp to the south. It seems like the bandits have taken over that area. So you can go back and report to Liu Bei that the town is safe, and I'm going to go and take care of the group in the south. So, we're going to head south and clear some more bandits. Probably the area we were in earlier, and uh, we're telling Ajun that military matters are urgent. We have to go. Talk later. And, yep, military is more important. Go ahead. I will continue to try to heal the kid with Huatua here. We might need to clear some inventory space before we head out. But yeah, there's no shortage of girls around Zhaoyun. One leaves, one comes back. We leave another one, one comes back. Let's see if there's any... There's no function that have returned to town, but yeah, we are going to that southern area that we explored earlier. No problem. Don't mind killing a bit more for more experience. And uh, maybe we can eat some meat to heal up right now. I do want to hit that hit that chest before we go to drop some gear off. I think we're about to overflow. These are level 50 gear. How is this not better than the one we're wearing? Because of the lack of 4.9%? I mean, there's two durability numbers on it, so I guess that's not that great. But this one... This one's bound to be better. I don't understand how it's not... Be oh, they just recommended. It's like, that's bound to be better. And this is better than the light gear that we currently have. Mm. But with the red gear and everything, I have a bunch of enchantment on it. I don't really want to change those just yet, so I'm going to hold off on that. Can't sell any of the other ones. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to store... We're going to store the gold stuff. And all the crafting gear and med. Keep the rest and hopefully our inventory space. Uh, we can probably store some of the arrows. We don't need that many. Probably going to stick to more spears for the next part. Reload that. Both of those ready learned, so we're going to have to sell those. Yeah, we just head straight down, clear out the bandits. Maybe see another worthy fight. The previous bandit leader, not very impressed. our inventory is pretty full we're just probably gonna stay for the elite drop and sometimes they don't even drop anything good
but sometimes gold tier. this area? Sparrows. Can't spare you guys because you guys were so cruel to the villagers. If I spare you guys, how would I face them? Our family was raided by bandits and we were homeless or else we wouldn't become bandits. We just wanted to have something to eat so we followed Wulao Da. Boss Wu? wonder who this is. Maybe Wu Lan? We'll see who, who this leader of the bandit is. They're, <laughs> they're dressed poorly, they're thin, and look sickly. Seems like they're not just pure evil. If that's the case, you can come join our army. So we do spare them, and nobody's gonna end up recruiting them. We're gonna go back to camp and talk to Ajun, but first, we have three skill points. Starting to learn some sword, but first, if we hit level 50, it's gotta be something we can learn here. Uh, more than a few things. Okay, so I'm gonna strip these points back. All right, there's still a lot of areas where we need more points, but right now they're still level cap for now, but pretty soon, pretty soon a few more things. she is. And the kid is healed. We're departing again. Don't know when we'll meet again. Hope we take care of ourselves. Don't worry. I'm healthy and free. And the words you told me when we first left, I still remember. And I remember it well. And off she goes with the kid. Saying goodbye, see you again. Liu Bei has moved his army into Xiaopei and also called back all the civilians. There's someone in Xiaopei waiting for us. Okay, let's see. We have a visitor. Yeah, we're going the right way. We can sell some of the stuff before we go. Yeah, we might. Mm, I don't think I want that. Actually. No, we should sell those, even though I kind of want some parts. Let me keep some of the blue ones. For salvage. And yeah, this is a new horse, horse that we picked up. Seems like they pick up levels even when they're resting. Pretty sure we left it at level 45 and now it's 47. And the experience bar on here. We can let it rest, let it heal up a little. Oh no, that's not this. Oh, bar is heal. We don't have to. It would have healed by itself. 
But we have money to spare. Alright, we don't need to cook. I need to speak to the blacksmith. Repairs will be nice. And... Wait, did we not sell that or can we learn that? We can learn that. Okay, good thing. I want to salvage even some of the blue. Yeah, we actually get water from that one. This way we don't have to go back and farm for the water resource. Actually, I'm not sure if we want this boot. It has no additional trait, so even though it's a higher roll, yeah, we need that. Let's do it. We'll probably salvage a bit more going ahead, especially as we look to craft some level 50 gear. I think we have, oh, we might not have this. But if we do have it, this is the upgrade. We haven't done any of that yet. I think we might wait till the max level gear, which should be a level 60 gear to do that. I need to go look at our storage real quick. Not sure if we have the necessary crafting materials. Alright, lots of arrows. Yes, yes, yes. Um, probably we'll end up getting rid of these since they don't have additional traits. This one increased 10% crit. The one we're using increases 11% crit. So we'll probably never use this. So we might salvage that as well. I'm not going to salvage anything red. I think the red gear includes some very unique stuff like our teacher's sword, uh, our teacher's spear. We're not going to get rid of ever. Could use more arrows later on. Lots of enchantments. Don't want to mess with right now until we change gear. Alright, we have a little bit more water resource from the salvage. A little concerned about the metal. Oh, we do have four of these. Okay, so we can craft stuff. Let's um let's craft a spear. I think we use that the most. I'm gonna grab everything. I think those are used for upgrades, so we don't need those right now. I think we can craft maybe one weapon. With what we have. So, hold on. Which one do we want to upgrade? I mean, most likely spear. We don't use the sword that much. Like a helmet also has a... <laughs> we, don't, we don't have a good helmet ever, so we could maybe get that as well, but play weapons first. We have enough. Barely enough water, barely enough metal. If we craft this, I don't think we can get the level 50 helmet. Because the water wouldn't be enough. We need to salvage more things to get the water. Uh, I actually... Yeah, we'll get the helmet first. That way we have a full set of red or gold. We'll come back for this later. Hopefully we rolled a good trait. We haven't taken damage for 8 seconds. The next target we hit will have 4 seconds of bleed. Every 0.5 seconds, 40 health. That's pretty good. And that means we can deal 320 damage every time we hit someone after we haven't... Basically our first hit. If we take damage, this goes away. But basically we take a poison on the enemy. Alright, massive upgrade, and we can get a resistance enchantment on that, which we'll probably do in between episodes. We're finally full red or gold. This is not so great, but 
we probably want to replace this next once we get more the water resource is the problem. We need to actually just farm for more things. You can see the passive for the poison that we got. Uh, I can salvage some of the other stuff that we don't need. Yeah, these that doesn't have a unique trait at the bottom. I think we just get rid of oh, this one does, but it's not as good as what we need. Definitely don't need this. We're gonna go meet Liu Bei and see who is the visitor that wanna see us. That's the enchantment. We should replace that. All the bandits nearby have been killed, and uh, we even recruited some of them to join the army. What you've done is great. He's gonna to have to go see, check with the civilians to see if everyone's fine. No need to follow him. There's someone who's waiting for us. Where? Oh, Gong Sun Yue is here. Something's gone wrong back uh, home, I guess. It's been a long time since we met. Is everything fine? Have you been injured? My lady, basically. We've been careful, and everything's fine. Why are you here? Uh, Gong Sun allow you to be here? Uh, so she begged her father for a long time and used the excuse that the battles in the Xu province is over. So the army that Gong Sun Zan borrowed to Liu Bei needs to be returned, so she volunteered to get here to bring the army back. Okay, so she's been here a while, but she can't stay long because Gong Sun Zan only allowed her for a short period. Yesterday, there's been a scout that passed a message from Yijing. There's a letter from your home. So basically our brother wrote us a letter. Ah. We have become an uncle. Our brother and sister-in-law just had a kid and asking us to go home to celebrate. Such good news. Congratulations. And then because of this, I'm going to go back home and uh, celebrate with the family. Could you return to your father and excuse me a little bit longer? So asking for a little vacation here. She wants to go with us. She remember our home is in Zhending, which is in the Ji province. She's rarely gone outside of the Yo province, wants to accompany us. Of course. So what happened to uh, dad's, uh, you know, time limit? You know, we're happy that she wants to come with us, but given that the Yi province is now controlled by Yuan Shao, having ourselves kind of just sneak in is fine. We can't have all of the white horse fellow who needs to be returned to go with us. That would be an army invasion. That would be a war again. And plus, Gong Sun Zan wouldn't feel safe if you, or, you know, his daughter sneaks into enemy territory and will be mad at us. She's gonna pass the command back to the lieutenant officer and then she's gonna come with us and uh, she will tell her father herself. She's kind of, you know, going split personality here. You know, Gong Sun Yue is Gong Sun Yue's matter. Her name is A Gui, A Gui General. She's basically, you know, trying to play up that she's capable and doesn't need to care about being Gong Sun Zan's daughter and just wants to go with us. So, she'll be accompanying us. We will talk to Liu Bei and dismiss ourselves as well. And we're in chapter 7. Uh, do you have any matter? We are here to say goodbyes. Have we mistreated you? Why are you just leaving? Did Gong Sun Zan summon you back? No, it's just in this time. We've been treated very nicely by three generals, and we respect you three very much. We would love to stay with you, but a uh, letter from my brother. Uh, we have become an uncle, and we want to go back and celebrate with the family. Uh, that's a good thing. Okay, congratulations. Of course, we won't stop you from that. We just don't know, would you return? Uh, 
归来时，会有公孙将军命令，便须早日归去一境。If it's short, maybe one month. If it's long, maybe multiple months. But given the matter here is over, when I want to return, perhaps I need a order from Gong Sun Zan. Given that we are part of his army, and、uh, we perhaps need to go back to Yijing. Holding our hand, you know, Liu Bei is lamenting that we have to leave him. Yeah, Liu Bei and Zhao Yun bonded quite well early on, both ways. We've been poor. He's been poor his entire life. Nothing to give us when we leave. Just want to leave us with a saying. There are many with grand ambitions, and very few could、uh, keep their goals from the beginning to the end. And once they kind of betray their original goal, they pretty much become fakes. Hopefully, we can.、Uh, Heed by this warning and stay true to our original ambition. And of course, we thank him. We'll remember this saying with our life. And Liu Bei is saying that having us as accompanying Zhao Yun, three brutes can't take care of him as good as Gong Sun Yue, who is going to be obviously more detail oriented here. So I'll take good care of him. And、uh, we leave. Say goodbye to everyone. And、uh, we are headed back to Changchunli. So this matter has concluded. We are probably gonna end up fast traveling back, even though some item farming wouldn't be the worst thing in the world in between episodes. But we'll just pop over to this save point and probably also dump a lot of our gear before we pick things up. But we'll end the episode here. Next time we'll go home、uh, to some tragedy, like I mentioned before. Zhao Yun's brother dies in this period. This happy news is a fictional invention by、uh, the game. There is no records of Zhao Yun having any, you know, nephew that survived this period. So we'll come back here and、uh, check things out. Hopefully, it's not going to be too sad. And until then, bye.